Welcome back, project managers. I'm Candice Porter, and this channel focuses on all things project management. Today, we are diving into the Scrum of Scrums. This is a fantastic way to scale your agile practices and keep your teams in sync. If you're juggling multiple teams and looking for a method to streamline communication and collaboration, this video is for you. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. And if you have any questions or tips on Scrum of Scrums, please drop them in the comments below. I truly do love hearing from you and engaging with this community. Let's get started. First, we're going to answer the question, what is Scrum of Scrums? Scrum of Scrums, it's also known as Meta Scrum, is a technique used when two or more Scrum teams, generally consisting of three to nine members, although this is not a fast, hard rule, need to coordinate their work. A representative from each team attends a meeting with the other team representatives, potentially two to three times a week. The daily meeting is like the daily stand-up in Scrum, where the representatives review the next set of work, any current impediments that might block completing work, and potential upcoming impediments, and removing the impediments to optimize the efficiency of all of the teams. The goal is to ensure that the teams are coordinated, working towards the same objectives. You know, I am often asked the question from project managers and or project sponsors, how do you manage external dependencies when we're talking about project management? This is a really great way to manage some of those external dependencies when we're talking about how they're coming from other projects. Let's take a look at how this actually works now. Let's look at the bottom here where each of those boxes represents a different Scrum team. The way that the Scrum of Scrum works is that one representative from each of those teams get together and really talk about what's important for the projects. Now, I'm assuming by the grouping here that there really aren't any dependencies between the projects on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So we would say the projects on the left-hand side, those four do have information that they need to share and to better communicate. That's why we have one person from each of those four scrum teams getting together and really going about that information share. So we could take this a step further. Let's talk about scrum of scrums of scrums. I really love this. The terminology makes me smile. When we're talking about scrum of scrums of scrums, we're talking about large projects with several teams that result in conducting these meetings. They follow the exact same pattern as Scrum of Scrum with a representative from each Scrum of Scrum reporting into a larger group of representatives. Now, if we're looking at this visual again, you'll see on the bottom left-hand side, we have our four representatives that are getting together for Scrum of Scrums. Scrum of scrums of scrums then would take a representative from each of the scrum of scrums that you're seeing on that second line there to come together to information share across all of the projects. So this really takes it to the next level where we need different people to get together to talk about dependencies, impediments, and how to best move forward with all of these projects under consideration. Thank you for joining me today. Again, I am Candace Porter. If you have experience with Scrum of Scrums or Scrum of Scrums of Scrums, I really would love to hear from you what has worked, what has been a challenge. Please comment below. That way we can all see what's working best across the board. Have a great rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you next time.